As part of this highlight of New Slides features, I'd like to show you add-ons and explore together um, because we can make use of add-ons and the explore tool all in one. Starting with add-ons. First of all, add-ons are now available for slides. They used to be only available for sheets and docs. Um, the add-ons add functionality to an existing Google application, and in this case, Google Slides. And to add add-ons, you would first go to get add-ons. And this is kind of like a little marketplace where you can go shopping for things you can add on to the application itself. If you use Pear Deck already, you might be interested in adding a Pear Deck where you can add formative assessments and interactivity to your Google Slides. Really exciting for teachers. So I'll go ahead and click on that and show you how you add it. And then you click on free. When you decide you want to pull in an add-on to your application, it's kind of like signing up on its own website. You're saying, yeah, I want you to work with my Google account. Um, and it does it automatically. So you're basically giving it permission to interact with your Google Drive or your Google Slides in this case. So it says, welcome to Pear Deck Slides add-on. Now you can add formative assessments and interactive questions to your Google Slides. To start, go to the add-ons menu, go to Pear Deck. To present, go to the add-ons menu, go to Pear Deck. Um, we could do a whole uh, webinar on Pear Deck. So we're not going to use Pear Deck for this example. We're gonna keep it very simple. I've added the um, Unsplash Photos, which is um, non-commercial, free-to-use photos for Google Slides. So I'm going to go ahead and, and I've already added it the same way I just added Pear Deck, and I'm going to hover over it and say I want to insert an Unsplash photo. So my goal here is to modify, to decorate my slide. And I'm going to grab a, a couple of pictures. I could add one, but I'm going to show you how adding two works with the Explore tool. So um, I'll add my fall leaves. And when I select that, it goes ahead and it adds it to my slide. But let's go ahead and add just one more for laughs and giggles. And we'll choose this cool bird. And we've got these two pictures that are just like plopped there. Now what's nice about this is I have the explore option down here. When this is highlighted in yellow, it's telling me that Google, this application, would like to it'd like to modify the layout and design of this slide for me and save me a ton of time. So I click on Explore, and here are my options to update my slide. So automatically, I can modify my slide, and boom, it's done. Now, let's say you only want to add one picture. That's okay, too. You can click on add-ons. Uh, I'm going to go to Unsplash Photos again. Oh, I'm actually going to go to Icons by Noun Project because that's another uh, tool that's available in the uh, store. I call it the store. Everything is free uh, as far as add-ons go. So I click on this and I allow this. Now, what I, icons by noun project are, uh, there are 100 most frequently used icons. So um, you don't get to use everything here for free, but you get to use a lot of them for free. So I'll just show you in case you are interested in, in something like this for your uh, presentations. And your students may be interested in, in these as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and hover over certain things. Let me see if I can find one that's not free. It looks like they're all free so far. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one and it should put it, place it right into my, my slide. So now I can go ahead and, and make it bigger. And if you want uh, to, I'm gonna click on this one. If you select an icon, you can then choose the color as well. So if you want to modify it, now I can go ahead and insert this icon and that will insert it into my slide deck. There, here we go. So that one was uh, Icons by Noun Project. Those are just a couple of tools you can use. Now, when you have, just a note about the Explore feature, when you have so many, um, uh, if you get too many items on your slide and uh, the, the slides don't know how to format it, you won't see this yellow uh, button. But anytime you see the yellow in the Explore tool, I can click on it and it will give me some recommendations to quickly modify my slide. So we covered here uh, add-ons. You get add-ons by going to get add-ons and shopping for them. You add them by selecting an add-on. 
and then clicking on free to add it. Uh, that was Lucidchart. So if you're interested in, in the mapping, mapping tools, you can add that. And we also talked about the Explore tool, how you can um, be on a slide, see this suggested Explore button here, and then quickly select a, a way to format your slides. I highly recommend you show your students this. Um, it could save them a tremendous amount of time and make slide presentations uh, much more attractive and fulfilling for both parties.